Hi, this is Brian with Danan DJ, and this is a demonstration video showing the setup procedures for the DNM C6000 for use with Tractor Pro 2. First, connect the DNM C6000 to your computer via USB, then power on the machine. Once it goes through its startup process, open the Tractor Pro 2 software. Then confirm that you have Tractor Pro version 2.0.1 or later installed on the computer. You can confirm your version number by going up to Help, then click on About Tractor 2. Tractor's setup wizard will configure the program properly for use with the DNMC 6000. To run the wizard, go up to Help then choose Start Setup Wizard, then follow the wizard's prompts for proper setup to your personal taste and style. After the configuration is complete, we recommend checking the audio output settings to be sure that the output configuration is set properly for your application. For example, if you wish to use 2 deck operation, the mixing mode should be set to external and the output for deck A should be set to DNMC6000 1 and 2 and deck B set to DNMC6000 3 and 4. Then on the DNMC6000, set channel 1 to AUX1, channel 2 to USB 1.2, channel 3 to USB 3.4, and channel 4 to AUX2. Next, set the mixing mode switch to INT Mix, and finally, change the CF mode to just video. For four track deck operation or two track decks plus two sample decks using the denondj.tsi mapping file, the mixing mode should be set to internal and output monitor should be set to DNMC6000 3 and 4 and output master should be set to DNMC6000 1 and 2. Then on the DNMC6000 set all channels to MIDI and set the mixy mode switch to PC Mix. If you wish to use the 2 track deck plus 2 sample decks mode, you will need to load the .tsi mapping file that Denon DJ provides into the program. To obtain the mapping file, go to www.denondj.com and enter the DNMC6000 into the search box, then click search. The search results will display the DNMC6000. Please click on the DNMC6000 to go to that products page. Then click on the Manuals tab, and finally click on the Quick Start Installation Guide and .tsi for Tractor 2 link. Your computer will then prompt you asking you what you would like to do with the file. Choose Save and save the file folder to your desktop. Once saved, locate the file folder on the desktop, right click and choose extract or extract all to extract the contents and then follow your computer's extraction prompts. The extracted folder will contain a readme document and a folder with the Tractor Pro 2 mapping file and installation instructions. The README document indicates that the Tractor Pro 2 mapping file requires the DNMC6000 to have at least firmware version 1007 installed. If you don't have version 1007 installed, please visit www.denondj.com to download the latest firmware version. You can find a demonstration video showing the update process under the Videos tab on the DNMC6000's webpage. Now let's go back to the unzipped file folder and open the Tractor 2 mapping file and installation instructions folder. 
Inside, we find the DNMC 6000 mapping file and the README mapping file guide version 1008 instructions document. Double click on the README document to open. Please read the terms and conditions of end user license agreement. This can be found on page 1 of the README document. The top of page 2 indicates that Tractor Pro 2 must be installed on the computer that you wish to use prior to using the DNMC 6000. After installation, the mapping file will need to be installed for operating Tractor Pro 2 with the DNMC 6000. The mapping file can be found in the Tractor 2 mapping file and installation instructions folder inside the unzipped file folder. To install, move or copy the .tsi mapping file and place it in the following location. If using a Windows PC, go to My Documents, then Native Instruments, then Tractor 2.0.1, and then paste the file in the Settings folder. If using a Mac computer, go to Documents, Native Instruments, Tractor 2.0.1 and then paste the file in the settings folder. To load the file, start up Tractor 2 and select Controller Manager from the file menu for opening preferences. Click Import at the bottom of the window and select the .tsi mapping file. Then click close to complete the installation. You can find detailed function and mapping information on pages 2 through 8 in the README document. Feel free to contact the technical support department if you have any questions. Thank you.